Hi, Booktube. Welcome to Jackie's Literary Corner. I am Jackie, and this is the um, 7 on Sunday video. I forgot to do for film one for this Sunday, which is a problem because I keep forgetting to do that. So I thought while I was in, while I was thinking about it, I would go ahead and film for next Sunday, the 22nd. Um, this is, um, in case you haven't watched when I, the few times I've done the 7 on Sunday, it's basically like top by Wednesday, except for you're picking seven things on the, in, you um, upload it on, on a Sunday. And this is created by um, G Swizz or Grace from G Swizz. And she's a great booktuber that I watch sometimes. Um, and I definitely recommend her. She, um, she does read a lot of YA, and um, I think she reads like sci-fi and fantasy stuff. I'm I'm trying to think who I don't remember who her favorite authors were. There are there are definitely some that she talks about more so than others, but I don't remember what they were off the top of my head. But anyway, this week the topic for the twenty second Sunday is your top seven UK covers. Now I don't buy the UK the UK books editions. Because I just started shopping online myself, and I've been using Thrift Books now, and I just signed up for a book depository because my mom, when she was helping me get, you know, because I don't do a lot of online shopping, so I've, you know, which I know at 31 years old I should be I should know how to do that, but my mom said to help me with that, learn how learn how to do it, and while we were um getting Christmas gifts for people, she, um, she decided to, there was a particular thing we were looking for on other sites, a particular book we were looking for on other sites and see which one was cheaper, and, you know, we stumbled on Book Depository, which she, which I didn't know this, but she's actually gotten books there, she got a chance to go back to school to expand her degree. And she got some of her school books. She shopped at Book Depository. And I know that sometimes Amazon, their books will come from Book Depository. Or, and they've also come from Thrift Books as well, which I thought that was really, really cool. Because at the time, I was not shopping in either of those places. So it was kind of like, oh, I've heard about that. That site. That's so cool that, you know. Um, but anyway... So I don't have the UK cover, so I don't have anything to show, sh to show you guys that I've said a million times before. I don't know how to do, like, upload things, uh, like, sh post pictures. I think there is an add-on thing when you upload. But I'm always afraid of trying something and then messing up on it and having to start over on it. That's why I'm too, I'm not, I'm too cautious about trying things, about testing things out. So... I will. I will only. Should, I really should try it though. See if they add on means that means showing pictures or something. And I also don't have. And again, my other excuse is I don't have the patience to learn that to figure out that kind of stuff. So I don't have anything to show you when I talk about these books. But um, I do oftentimes like the UK covers. But because they don't sell you, I mean, obviously they don't sell them in U.S. stores. And every time I try, and now that I've started using Thrift Books, and then soon I'll be using Book Depository, it, like, every time, like, at least on Thrift Books, whenever I look for the new UK editions, they've already been, like, everybody, they've been bought out. They're temporary unavailable. And who knows if any more will come in. And besides the fact that, but with online use use bookstore shopping, you never know if you're gonna get the one that the edition that you want. That's a lot of criti that's one of the criticisms that sometimes people say in their reviews that they don't always get the edition that I want, but I think that's the risk you're gonna take. Granted, I there was one time where when on Thrift Books recently when I wanted to get the vintage edition of, of Anna Karenina and I was, because I decided to look at reviews to confirm if I have to worry about this, I got all worked up. And I was very, and I kept trying to remind myself that, you know, it's not, you know, it's, I tried to remind myself it wasn't that big of a deal. I mean, it was because I particularly wanted that particular edition. 
so I was just, I was trying to calm down, and it was really, it was really, I was really nervous. So, anyway, enough about me. So, let's get into the book covers. Okay, so, first, okay, I, mean, I totally did not pick this. First one I said was, I really love the Rob Run Robin Hom's Elder and Realm of the Elderly in series, the British covers, the U the UK covers of her books. And I think that's the only thing that she's written is stuff in the realm of the elderly. I don't know if she's written anything outside of that. I would have to look it up. But I love those book covers, especially because they look like, um, you know, a scroll or a parchment that you would get in like in the medieval era like when you see um the page of a story or something and it has the big letter and it's the really interesting design and it's just and sometimes they have the little images of the pictures of animals and like whatever the book whatever the story is about and that's what in all of her books that's how the design of it it's simple like I said it fits the world that this the realm of the Elderlings is set and like it's not it's not historical fiction it's fantasy but it's a fantasy world inspired by the medieval period at least that's the impression I get so I feel like the the UK covers their design fits the aesthetic of the world next is of course I'm going to mention it that series and that is the Harry Potter series I don't know why I kind of I mean I I like the American editions, I will always love them because they're what I grew up with. But I kind of like the UK, especially the UK hardback, with the red and then the 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 art, the um the cartoon drawing or the animated drawing. I think is I really like that, especially because it starts out as a kid series. Like the first three books are you know between the ages of eleven and thirteen. So the first three books are when he's a kid, when he's a preteen. So he's it's kind of middle middle grade level and yes it ages with the it ages with its audience but I still like the cart the animated image on the cover of you know the what the book is about and I almost bought one because at surprise surprisingly there was actually the fourth book a copy of the fourth book was at the roast office bookshop a few months ago and I almost bought it but then I decide, and, but I'm someone who can't justify having multiple copies of the same book. And like with the foreign language editions, it's like, unless you know how to read, unless it's translated, or unless you know how to read that, that language, in that language, then I don't see the point in having multiple editions. I mean, I'm not trying to judge anyone if you do that. That's fine. It's you do you. But personally, I can't justify, I just can't justify it. So maybe that's how I should put it, that I just can't justify it. Not that there's no point to it. It's just that I don't, you know, it's like, I feel like why, you know, I feel weird having multiple copies of the same book. And there's bound to be one that I'm going to want to read more than the other, and then that one is going to be sitting on the shelf all the time. And if I did get the, um, like, I saw the vintage, I was, when I was looking through a book depository and seeing what they had to offer, I s looked for the vintage editions, of Russian classics, and I saw the um, one of War and Peace, and I didn't put it on my wish list just out of whatever. I, I just did it, but at the same time, I was thinking, I mean, nothing is wrong with my Penguin Classics edition. It's just because the way I was reading it and how I folded the cover over, it kind of it kind of ripped a little bit, so I had to put tape on it. So I would think if I got that one, I would feel like I need to get rid of the penguin one, and then I feel guilty for giving people putting out one that's a little damaged. That's the only the the band aid on it is is a piece of tape to hold it together. I would feel guilty giving it, and at the same time, it would just I would feel like it would take up space if I had two copies of it. But I did put it on my wish list anyway, because who knows? Maybe I'll do you know if I ever get another bookshelf. Which probably won't be happening. But, I mean, you never know. It might. Maybe. You know. But, anyway, yeah. I, but, yeah, I like the covers, the UK covers of the Harry Potter series. Okay, so, question, so, number three is Throne of 
Glass series is the next one where I like the UK editions. And there's another author whose editions are done similarly to Sarah J. Mass's books in the UK the UK covers. Um and the UK covers of the Sarah J. Mass's Thrown a Glass series are they're all, they're solid white. They're white. The whole cover is white, except there's the figure of the of um of um Selena Sardothian or Aelin Ash I don't know how to say her last name or Aelin whatever whichever book you're up to at the point at this point um and then that's where the color is her figure and then there's the color all around and I imagine if there's a if it's like the the U.S. editions where there's her in her fighting gear on one side and on the back is her in a dress I'm guessing I'm wondering if maybe there's color in the dress as well. Now, I've never, like I said, I've never really looked at the UK covers, or at least looked on the back anyway. I'm Obviously, I've looked at them. And I, I kind of like, I like the simple design, the white, with a little bit of color. I think it's really pretty, and it stands out. You know, it makes sure that the middle figure, the person in the middle, stands out more. And I don't know, I guess at times, though, it's kind of like, when I look at a UK cover, it's like, ooh, it's new and shiny and nice and stuff because it's new to me. Because I lived in the US and US stars don't sell in UK covers. I mean, unless maybe you might find a UK cover in a used bookstore. Um, and then, let me go ahead and the other author whose books that when they're published in the UK has these kinds of covers is Brandon Sanderson's books. Um, not all of his books. Like, the, um, his sci-fi, um, I don't know if this is all his, all, all the sci-fi books he's right, he's written, but I know that the, um, I can't remember what the whole, I don't know what the whole trilogy is called, but it starts with Skyward, and then Starsight is the next one. Um, that's not in Britain, that's not in this design, but, like, Warbreaker, um, Stormlight Archives, Mistborn, I think, the Mistborn trilogy, um, Elantris, all those books. And maybe it's just his fantasy books that have this design, but like with the Throne of Glass books, it it's white, and then there's a, there's a figure in the middle, and that's the figure that they're either a dark color or they're like have a little bit of color in them. Like Warbreaker, obviously, because the whole magic has has to do partly to do with color. There's a little bit of color there. Now, the only thing I don't like about the UK editions of, like, particularly Stormlight Archives, is you have to buy two books because the the series gets has, you know, the series has gotten bigger, so it's like the like the books are divided into two. Which I get why they, I think I understand why they do that, but I don't want to have to buy two books. Which so I appreciate that our here in the U.S. like the Stormlight Archives each book is just one book. Just one really big book. Um, although, I don't know now, the benefit of that might be that they stay together better because my mass market paperbacks are not always, they don't they don't always look nice. They don't last nice for a long time. Although, and also the, the image is like, you can see it, the whole full image or whatever on the U.S. one, you, you have, unless you get a copy of the cover on a, like, a print or something, you won't get the full image unless you just keep coming back and forth or open up your cover, your title, your cover, and you lay it flat, which could potentially tear. Um, but I also, and I also, like, I like, um, Skyward and Star Sight because I think the cover, the UK cover kind of fits the premise of the fact that the, the genre, I should say, not the premise, the genre of the book, like, it looks very sci-fi-esque, the UK covers do, while the US covers more look like typical YA books. Like, there was a trend of having, there's a trend of having people on the covers, which is still kind of going on, but now that we've moved away from the real people and have, like, kind of hand-drawn people, or like silhouettes and stuff like that, which yeah, Skyward has it. This person isn't a real person, isn't like a model. It's a it's a drawing of a young girl, but still a person on the cover. And I'm not always a big fan. Sometimes I'm okay. Sometimes I like it, and sometimes I don't. You know, and if given 
and so I kind of like the UK covers with the whole, like, like I said, the, the image, the person is far away, and then the image of, like, what looks like a planet is, it fits the, the genre of the book. Okay, so Brandon Sanderson's cover, UK covers, I really like. Of most, all of his books that I've, at least the ones I've seen so far. Okay, next is, I like the UK covers of the Shades of Magic series by V. Schwab. Schwab. This is one of her, I think it's one of her adult series. It's a, um, a trilogy, but I believe she's writing more books. And there's a graphic novel that's about, the, um, about the, the king. And how he became who he's by who he is in the in the se in the original trilogy, but I kind of I kind of like it. Like the, the um whoever's on the cover is just this black silhouette, and then you have the red and black mixed all in red, black and white kind of mixed together to form the image on the cover. Like there's like the titles in either red or black, and then you know are you like. Cal has a red cape, and, you know, all this, I, I don't, I kind of find it really, really, like, really pleasing, really pretty. And I thought I also, like, um, and then next is, now this one I just kind of looked at. I looked at someone's blog where they compared the two different covers, and this one com was one of the, one of their options in the round, in that round was... Enchante by Gita Trelisse. And I kind of, I mean, I was, I'm fine with what I, the one, the, the U.S. cover. But I kind of like the U.K. I was looking at the U.K. cover and I kind of like that one. I like how it's basically, instead of, it actually like kind of shows on the cover a little bit of what is going on in the story. Like you have you know, you have the gates, you know, the, these gates blocking the area that the main character wants to go, that she's forbidden from. There's an air balloon in, up on top. Um, now, granted, maybe some people might find that a little too busy. I don't, I don't know. Um, and it's just a little prettier than, I like, the, the kind of cursive -y type writing and the title and stuff like that. And, I just think it's really, that edition is really pretty. The UK cover of um, Enchante. And then next is, and I think this is the UK cover. Um, I think, unless, I don't know which one is the UK. I don't think it's so sure which one is the UK, um, the UK cover or not. I think, I think the, the one I like is the UK cover, which is, um, the more colorful one, where you have the fa the woman who's I guess supposed to be Daisy, and you know, but the title is in different multicolors, like different rainbow colors, and that one, um, and that one, the more colorful cover, which I think is the UK cover, but I'm not 100 percent sure. I think the one that's white with the woman's face, like and it looks like a like my. You know, it's not color as colorful. It looks like a natural face. It's a natural face. Um, I think that's the one I've seen in stores here. In the Daisy Jones and the Six color cover, with, that's more colorful is the UK cover. But I'm not 100% sure on that. But that's the cover I like. So if that's not the UK cover, then that does not apply to this prompt, to this top seven on Sunday. But um, if it is... I really like that cover too. I like the um, I like it fits the the seventies more to me. The bright colors and the stuff and all that that just the colors. It's the color scheme makes me think more of the seventies than the other one. Although the other one does still feel seventies ish, but I think like I said, but I think all the bright colors feels more seventies than than that one than the the other one. The one that's kind of that's white. Like, there's a white surrounding the person, the woman's face. Um, which, I'm guessing, I wonder if that's supposed to be a photo album. It, not a photo, what was I saying? But a, an album, an album, like a, you know, the, like an album. If you guys, um, I'm assuming you guys don't want to talk what I mean by that. Um, 
But yeah, the, the colorfulness of it makes me think more of the 70s than the other one does. In all honesty. Now, that's a book I've never read before. I just know what it's about. Because, you know, it's one, one of those booktube darlings that you hear, you know, when it came out, it was a big deal. Especially because it was her, it was the novel after Evelyn Hugo. Which, actually, those are not her, it's, it's weird they're not her, no, I mean, I guess it's not weird. But it's just, it's like, she had written books before. Like, she had written one book before, but all of a sudden it's like, you were hearing all about her all her name on YouTube and her, her books, the, you know, the, um, Evelyn Hugo kind of blew up and became a big thing. And then her next book, everyone was, you know, so just that can happen. You know, sometimes you don't, you're, sometimes your first few books don't do very well. Like people read them and they sell, but they're not as, they're not super popular. But then there's that one book that all of a sudden it blows up and everyone loves and everyone's buying it and what, you know, it just hits people. It just really gets to people. So anyway, um, I hope that, I think that's the UK cover, the colorful one. So anyway, that is my top seven on Sunday. Um, my top five, my top seven UK covers. If you have some favorite UK covers, I would um love to know what they are. And unless you're a more US cover fan, um, which that will be the next seven on Sunday topic after this one, the U the US covers. Which I probably should do that now. I not I should probably think about consider consider thinking about that now and maybe film that in next sometime next week. Because again, I might forget to do it. Okay, so if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, click subscribe if you haven't already, click the bell notification below if you want to know when I post new videos. Um, I hope you are washing your hands, wearing a mask. I hope you're being kind to each other. And I will talk to y'all later. All right, bye.